Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2005 Mazda 3 doing stabilizer bar end links. They can, uh, these joints can get loose, and then you hit a bump and they start making noise. So, got a 5 millimeter Allen on here going inside this here, and then a 14 millimeter wrench for the nut. Got the tire off, I'm doing some other stuff too, so doing a hub bearing. So, got that out of the way, but take the tire off, you have like five. 21 millimeter lug nuts take the tire off it'll give you access here jack up the vehicle as you need to to take the tire off so but otherwise here you are not too bad of a job got this here 14 millimeter wrench got a ratchet wrench actually so ratchet wrench on there and we want to go the right way lefty loosey goodness Woo. it's on there tight but I know we're going that way so I'm gonna keep doing that just removing the uh, ABS wire from a little slot double up our power here Without all that hassle. And we'll just do the same, I guess, for the bottom one as well. It's actually more difficult now, probably, with this setup. So normally I'd put my uh, wrench in there. <clears throat> so this is actually probably more uh, difficult than it needs to be. Oh, there's a bracket there for the ABS sensor if you have ABS on yours. And then this will just, should just pull out. Boom. Oh, it's caught on the back. There we go. <sighs> Reverse procedure to install and tighten up those nuts on your with your 5mm Allen wrench and your 14mm socket. And that should do it to replace your stabilizer bar end links on your 2005 and other model years. Many, many, many years makes and models have this set up just the sizes are different good luck to you so we got the front stabilizer bar end link off of the mazda 3 got the new one 
they're designed a little differently they don't have any allen head hole in there so they do make a flat spots here on it this is a 16 millimeter wrench fits pretty well on there <clears throat> be nice if they made them a little thicker though because the wrench is thicker than that but boom so you get a new nut and a flat spot there for reinstallation purposes not a huge deal so you just put it back in the hole up there and then uh, tighten down the nut and uh, hold it down it's a basic reverse procedure to install pretty easy job once the uh, old ones are out so just to make a note the new ones are designed a little differently all right so I installed this one and we're all done installing the end link for the Mazda 3 I didn't even actually need to use my wrench on the back side I just put this on by hand as far as I could and then I used my uh, ratchet wrench on it and it went on just fine without this uh, center stud spinning so go ahead and certainly give that a try if you want to try and see if it'll go on without using the wrench so there you go but you have the wrench handy if you need it so that's installing the stabilizer bar and links pretty easy